corresponding video to marking index entries that we talked about yesterday, this is how you actually generate the index. So assuming we've gone through and marked all our index entries, if you don't know how to do that, be sure to check out the video called Mark, video called Mark Index Entries. So once you know how to do that, and you've gone through the document and done it, we now need to generate the index. And here's how you do it. You put your cursor where you want to generate the index. So I'd like to generate it right here, at the end of the document. And I'm going to go to the References tab. And on the References tab, in the Index section, uh, where we used to use Mark Entry to mark it, there's actually a button next to it that says Insert Index. So if I click that, it pops up and gives me a preview. I can choose different uh, templates that they have here, fancy, modern, all sorts of stuff. I'm just gonna go from template, so this is the normal uh, .dot template. Uh, so that's the one I'm gonna use. Uh, the type I'd like is indented, so it indents any sub-entries. If I do a run-in, you see it shows right next to it and does wrap. I'm gonna do indented. And I'm gonna have two columns. Language is English, United States. Okay and it generates the index. Now, a couple things to note here. Uh, that would be a cross-reference uh, video, and then it's also marked on page six, but then cross-reference, see online video. Online video is marked on a whole bunch of pages. We have a layout that exists as a sub-entry to Word and so on. So if I were to go back into the document and create another, um, another entry, so let's say I'm gonna add headings here. If I go down to my uh, index, you'll notice it's not there. So just like table of contents, if you wanna update your index, you can right click anywhere in your index, choose update field. The word we're looking to show up here is headings. That's the one I just marked. As Soon as I update it, there it is, pops in the index and away you go. So this is not something that needs to be done at the very end of your index creation. Um, you can do it at any time really. And then just make sure you update it as you go along so that it has any of those new entries uh, that you would have marked. 